Welcome back to my little channel. Today we're going to talk about a game called Tonight We Riot. And is it, as Kotaku said, unapologetically left? Let's look into it. You can see in all the pixelated beauty that it looks a lot like a retro game from, what, 2000? Uh, something like that. And it is a side-scroller, so that does make sense. And here we see workers in uniform, kind of like it once was depicted in Soviet Russia, or in prisons to be honest. But yeah, people not earning enough can be an issue, though it's more of an issue in non-capitalistic countries I fear. And I guess this is an Uber driver with spoiled teenagers in the back, but um, Uber drivers own their cars, right? And with your own car, you produce transport. Just like people with a computer can create media. So you be an independent journalist. Or just an entertainer. And though they are depicting a white guy, is this not what is happening in China? And if you own your own car or computer, that doesn't automatically mean you're rich, but you are a capitalist. And violently shutting down protesters. This is something we've seen happen in China a lot, and I'm not sure that those who own for a living control the rest of us. But hey, it's the premise of the game. So where does it go from here? Well, tonight we riot. Now, this is the map of the world, and it only has three worlds in itself. So this is Factory Town, World 1. This is where you start. Now you start with a few men to aid you, but yeah, the police will stop them, so the police can kill them. The aim of the game is to try to have as many helpers at the end of the game as possible, so you don't want to lose them too much. Now you can see that this isn't a rich part of town, but still, the whole aim of the game is to destroy things. Kind of like Antifa, but these people aren't Antifa, these are Bolsheviks. They have the red flag, not the red and black flag. And obviously, attacking the police is the thing to do. It's, it's violent like that. But hey, which game isn't violent? That's not the big problem with games like this, is it? Here, you try to liberate other workers from other factories. And then they will join you in helping destroy the capitalist overdogs. Overlords? Whatever. And the capitalists fight back with water cannons because... yeah. Now, it's not the sheer violence of the game that is a problem. I mean, let's be honest, most games are, in one way or another, violent. No, the real fun is in the way it is depicted. I mean, it's perfectly alright to attack the police with stones and fire, even though they only use sticks to fight back, or at least in this level. In later levels, uh, they will use weaponry like lasers now i won't show you that it, it looks silly let's be honest but you could still die and dying is a bad thing so you want to prevent that whilst destroying as much as you can the whole idea of destroying things is the riot thing let's be honest the visualization of the bolshevik or the communist is the reason why they call this game a leftist game and eventually you go to richer parts of town, which are different maps. Uh, this area is now liberated. You go to the richer areas of town, where you will also unlock people and riches you take back from the mean people. But that too is not the biggest, to me, strange thing about this game. I mean, I uh, let let it run, I let the gameplay run, and whilst I let it run, I'm going to finish this video. Because, whereas I don't care whether this game is promoting Bolshevism or not, eh, whatever, what I find really, really funny is that you can buy this game on Steam, and on other places no less, for the mere... 13 euro needed to play it. Well, it's not strange to ask 13 euro for a game, even if they are communists who want to go against 
capitalism? Yeah, no, maybe it's not so strange to ask money for making a game. I agree. I mean, I'm not the one who says capitalism is bad. They are the one who say capitalism is bad. But it is even funnier than that. Oh? Why is it even funnier than that? Because as far as I've been told by people who own this game, because I didn't bother buying it, you can complete the full game, including the unlimited attack maps, so to speak. You get all achievements done in about three hours of gameplay. So you buy a game for 13 euro, which has very little replay value, let's be honest. Once you've done it, you've done it. And you can finish the whole game in three hours. And that is a good example of the left against capitalism. To me, it seems like crony capitalism. Give me your money and I'll give you a shitty game for it. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you all next time.